Okay. Uh, welcome back, everyone. I'm Shinigami Tavris. As you can tell, we've got something weird set up right now. Uh, we're going to be playing... Move it down. Trogdor! The board game. Um, Trogdor! For those of you that don't know <clears throat> what Trogdor is, Trogdor is an old web video, like a flash video from back in... I think it was the early 2000s mm -hmm. um, from Strong Bad and the Homestar Runner webpage. Um, it was, I think it's Strong Bad email 58 or 59, something like that. Nonetheless, this is our first time opening the game. Like, I just opened it this morning. Uh, I haven't looked at all the rules yet. So, we're all learning together. Uh, as you can see, putting it out there, they're still sealed. Um, <clears throat> so that everybody knows ahead of time, this is also, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, Kickstarter version. So I do have this really nifty wooden board that was made by Wormwood. I have plastic figures instead of the wood figures. I do have the wood figures as well. They're nifty. Um, but we're going to learn it all together. First thing that I uh, absolutely love when I was looking at this is they took the rule book. And you can see where it looks like Strong Bad has, mm. like, drew on it and also taped messages. Yeah. And it's through the whole rule book. Nice. And at the very back, the last page, it says, there, rule book fixed. You're welcome, Strong Bad. <laughs> and so that everybody can see what I'm talking about. It's the same cover, except you got Strong Bad riding a uh, Trogdor. And, like, here's where he's, like, taped something there. Try to take the burninating for censorship reasons. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. <clears throat> so the first thing is um, players take turns controlling Trogdor as he burninates the countryside and dodges the wrath of his adversaries. To win the game, you must accomplish all of the following burninate the countryside. Burninate all the peasants. Burninate all of the thatched roof cottages. In so doing, you shall bring joy and satisfaction to your fellow keepers of Trogdor, as well as the mysterious wingling dragon himself. But beware, for if Trogdor takes too much damage before achieving victory, the players lose the game. And Trogdor must retire in defeat to burninate another day. <laughs> If this sounds like fun, turn to page 3. If this doesn't sound like fun, turn to page 516. There's not a page 516. So, uh, I'd like to know what would have been on page 516. Other than, you're a loser. Probably you're a loser. <laughs> you're a loser. <laughs> the game away and donate to somebody who has the balls to burn Nate. Um... So the first thing we will be doing is place the map tiles unburninated side up in a 5x5 five five grid shown above. More map examples are on page 14, but we're going to do the, like, startup so we can go ahead and move the uh, board game top. And I think I'm just going to move this down a little bit. There we go. So we should be able to see most of the board here. Yeah. So... I would love a trunk that like the I guess it's just random. No, nope. it, it does have a thing that you're supposed to set up the first time. So we're going to do the first pattern. Nope, wrong one. Uh, so each side has uh, two things. One is the uh, standard side, the other is the burninated side. Uh, this one goes... Where the fuck is this one going? Yellow. And if I would have thought about this, I would have done this before we started the game, but I, uh, before we started the stream, but I don't give a shit! Uh... Is that good? 
we got flowers right there. Place the map tiles on Bernadette's side. Uh, place three peasants, two knights, and the archer on the map. Okay, let's just go ahead and get this shit out here. So we got three peasants and their cottages. It must be Bernadette. So we got 3D stuff which is awesome uh the uh the wooden ones on one side has uh non-burdenated i think I oh nope they're they're all oh they just have uh yeah non-burdenated on one side and burdenated on the other we're fancy fancy how many peasants three, three. one in each cottage We got two knights. This one goes on the dead tree. We have that tree. The stump of this one. That one. Uh, we got the archer that goes here. Shrug door goes there. We still got some like extra peasants. But this guy's like awesome looking. Something else I had to fight. The struggle with a man. <laughs> he was a dragon man. He was a man who was also a dragon, but he was actually a dragon. Because he's dragon. Okay, let's go ahead and get the burninated. Burninated. Burninated all. Put that stuff up to the sides. Um. Place three cottages on Bernadette side up on the cottage tiles. Ain't no peasants like a flaming peasant. Uh, place the trog meter and put the trog hammer, four peasants, and flame helmet on it. Okay. Trog meter. Oh, that's the four peasants? Yep. And I guess that's trog hammer? I don't fucking know. Yeah, that's trog hammer. Oh. Damn. No, not the peasants. Down here. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four. Oh, they're too far down. Um, we'll put them up towards the top. No, don't move that too much. Because, like, that's a good spot, in my opinion, for being able to see, like, the whole board. Yeah. I don't know. Probably put it right in chair. Yeah, I think so. We're good. We can put, put it on the compass. We can put the trog meter. No, I think we gotta have the compass for something. Gotcha. Trog meter. Save it. Save it. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Uh, set aside the seven trog hammer cards for now. Uh, 
breaking the seal. Breaking the seal. Breaking the seal. Oh, come on, a piece of sheet. Burn it. Set seven. aside the seven, seven tri cameras. Uh, we got the void, which this is where all the peasants go to die. Yes. Dirty peasants. The rules. Wow. Stack them to the heavens, a classic two player stacking game, rules on the back. <laughs> They they gave me a That's what that's gonna come into play for. So I got the uh the wooden tiles. Those will get used for that. Um Shuffle the movement cards into the movement deck to form the movement deck. Wait, what's the different oh uh, then shuffle the remaining 29 action cards to form the action deck. So, that's the action deck. This is the movement deck. So, shuffle them separately. Yes. Yep. Wait, we see how you shuffle. Oh. For everybody at home, you're gonna hate me because you know what I do? I bridge my fucking cards. <gasps> what you mean? Yep. I uh, I don't care. They're cards. It's a card game. You're supposed to use them. Shuffle. Place a void. This little card is where peasants go to die. Shuffle movement cards. Pick a Trogdor meeple and place it on the center tile. Now you can play. Well, there are tons of Trogdor meeples. We're using uh, the 3D printed one to make him look burninating awesome. Can we burninate Trogdor? Self-burninate. Before starting the first turn, give each player one keeper... One item and one action card. Uh, once you have your keeper and item combo, own your roll. Do a dumb voice, put on a robe and fake horns. Annoy everybody! Uh, here. Nope. That's the discard file. For ah. those, uh, those just go off to the side somewhere. Yeah. Everybody, put on LARP equipment. Keepers of hmm. wait. I'm tracked off. Would you like to see my banination? I banate all of the things. Yes. You're running that one? Yeah. Now I'll probably go with this one. Trogdor the Bunny. Fucking like it, huh? Won't you suck my oh, Trogdor? Wow. Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. <laughs> Me, my wife, Natalie, and Nathan are gonna go to Mississippi for my large four day event. Nice. At the end of this point. Cool. Nice! First time been there in three years. Uh, Bodak! Burning eight in the countryside? That is correct, we are. How you doing, Bodak? Hey, Bodak, how the fuck are you, huh? Uh, I love, like, one of these, of the, like... So, so we have, hold on, so we have the Keepers of Trogdor... And then we also have, for the real Keepers of Trogdor, use at your own risk. The first one I saw was just the cheat. Duh, you can cheat. What this means is exactly up to you. 
<laughs> oh, crap. Oh, I can cheat? Yeah, exactly. We're not going to use those. Are you sure? We are going to use the regular Keepers of Trogdor, because, you know, that's the way it's supposed to be. But we're not the real Keepers of Trogdor, then. How many of those did they give us? Four? Four? Three. Three? Three? It is a four-player game. So it's a fight to the death to see who's the regular Trogdor. Okay. Give you an... Keepers of Trogdor give you a unique special ability as well as a sense of belonging. Keepers' powers are always active but are effective on your turn only unless otherwise stated. <laughs> give each player one randomly or let players choose their favorites. Well, we're just going to go random to begin with. Because we have no idea. Um, huh. okay. each player also gets one item. Yobitz is disgusting. That's, there we go. That is one item. utterly disgusting. Uh, items of the Keepers of Trogdor give you an additional special ability. Unlike the Keeper abilities, which are always active, item abilities must be recharged before they can be used again, unless your item says otherwise. Can it be used only once on each of your turns and recharged only on your turn. When you use your item, turn it sideways to show that it can't be used until it is recharged. To recharge the item, you must satisfy the recharge condition on the item on your turn, then you may turn the item back to its original position. Distribute these the same way as the keeper cards. So what... We'll, we'll go around in a minute and read. Next, we each get a action card. So... Single? Yep. This gives you action points. Action points are the number on the bottom on the shield. So, like that one, it's got an action point there for everybody to see. That's the shield there. Action points. Um, and a special ability that you can use for this turn. These special abilities may break the rules as you understand them, so do what the card says over any other rule in this book. The cards break the game. Let it be known. After playing it, discard that action card and keep any others you have. So I guess we'll be getting other action cards throughout the game. Uh, let's get rid of the box. I got too much shit in my way. Determine randomly who will go first. You can do this alphabetically by keeper or by drawing straws, throwing darts, or pitching pennies. You can also determine who goes first by the longest nose hair, brownest shoes, or coolest consonant cluster in their name. There's an eight side. Really? We don't want to go with nose hair? Uh, your turn consists of two phases. In the first phase, you control Trogdor and wreak havoc upon the lands. In the second phase, the lands fight back and all the board elements do their thing. Phase 1, Trogdor Actions. Draw an action card. Start by drawing an action card from the action deck. Place it beside your current one. If it is a Trog Hammer card, where the fuck... When did those get played back? What? Do the Trog Hammers get shuffled in? Set aside the seven Trog Hammers. Nope, no idea. Uh, if it's a Trog Hammer card, see Trog Hammer rules. Then draw another action card. If the action deck runs out, don't reshuffle it. So we got a limited amount of fucking actions, bitches. Luckily, we you guys do. Actions. Yep. Uh, play an action card. Choose one of your two action cards and play it, then discard it. If you don't like either of your action cards, discard one to gain five AP with no special ability. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, step three. Use your action point. Spend an action point to move, chomp, burrow, hide, or burninate. Burn it, Nate! I'm moving. Trogdor takes one step onto an adjacent tile. Normally, Trogdor can only move north, south, east, or west, and he can't wrap around the edges of the board. There's probably a reason it says that. Cheater card. 
Uh, if Trogdor moves onto a knight's tile, Trogdor takes one point of damage. Let's see, Trogdor takes damage on page 11. We'll get to that in a minute. Chomping. Trogdor can gain health by chomping a peasant who is on the same tile as Trogdor. The peasant goes onto the Trogmeter. Um, Burrow. Trogdor can move from one tunnel tile to the other tunnel tile. Tunnel tile, tunnel tile at the top. Hide. Trogdor can hide on a mountain tile to become impervious to knight and archer damage in the next phase. Lay Trogdor down for the rest of that turn to show that he is hiding. Look at it! That natural camouflage! Invisible! Invisible, eh? <laughs> hmm. uh, pass. Trogdor can give up action points he doesn't need. Hmm. I don't want to do anything! And then burninating. Wow. We got two pages of, like, strong, bad, fucking rot rotten me a letter now. Burninating. Trogdor can spend an action point to burninate an unburninated tile, cottage, or peasant. An unburninated tile can be burninated except the lake, which can not be burninated unless the adjacent tiles to the north, south, east, and west are burninated. When a tile is burninated, flip it to its burninated side. Burninating a cottage. A cottage can only be burninated if its own tile and all surrounding tiles, including diagonally adjacent tiles, are burninated. Flip the cottage over to its burninated side. So, that all has to be burninated first. All of this has to be burninated first. Yep. And you have to burninate the, this before you can burninate mm -hmm. the cottage. So the tile counts as another part before you can burn and lay the cottage. Hmm. We, are you sure we can't pull out that cheating card? <laughs> yeah. Uh, long range burnination. Action cards that let you burninate a tile other than the one where Trogdor is standing. Ignore the usual burninating restrictions. For example, the lake tile can be burninated regardless of conditions of its neighbors. However, these cards apply only to tiles, not cottages or peasants, unless they say otherwise. Burninating peasants! When Trogdor burninates a peasant, or if a peasant walks into a tile that contains a burninated cottage, that peasant will immediately catch fire and run around igniting things, but will then go into the void. When a peasant burninates, start by crowning him with the flame helmet. We love the flame helmet. It's this little thing that you just put on their heads. Why don't you show them right here on the front? The flame helmet. Ah! Uh, this is an important part of the ceremony. <laughs> Do not skip it. Draw a card from the movement deck and use the movement path on the right, not the peasant arrow. The flaming peasant moves along that path, burninating every tile along the way, if able, including its starting tile. Holy shit. So, like, in an example. Holy shit. It, yeah, moves up three and goes over. Burn eight. Um, so target peasants first. Well, you gotta no. They 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 ignite when they go into a cottage that's been ignited. Uh. They're stupid. They run into burning buildings. Um. If the flame peasant runs into the lake, whether the lake tile is burninated or not, the peasant's fiery struggle ends and he survives. The flaming peasant doesn't ignite an unburninated lake tile. Um, if the flaming peasant runs into the tile with a cottage, he burninates the tile and burninates the cottage if its surrounding tiles are burninated. If he ends his flaming run on an already burninated cottage, draw a new movement card and ignite him again. Because, you know, he's stupid enough to go back into that fucking burning cottage. Burning eight. If the flaming peasant runs into a tile with another peasant, that peasant also burninates. Mm -hmm. This is true even if they both started on the same tile. Turn any subsequently burninated peasant on his side. When the previous peasant is done with his spree of burnination, pop the other one back up, crown him with a flame helmet, draw a different movement path for each flaming peasant, and finish dealing with the first burninated peasant before the next one starts running. After burninating, unless saved by the lake, a burninated peasant goes to the void. In other words, they can, like, ignite each other, 
because, you know, that makes perfect sense. Let's hug each other and, like, cause each other to burn. Peasants are stupid. What do you expect? Try to put each other out. Ah, ah. Oh, God, no. Uh, the citizens, let's see here. Phase two, board actions. Uh, the denizens of peasantry will not go down without a fight. And Trogdor would have it no other way. In the second phase of the turn, various board elements will take automatic actions as described by a single card. If you control Trogdor in phase one, it is still your turn, so all the rules to phase two apply to you. You draw a movement card to begin phase two. Whoa, so we're going to use the same one that we used last time. Spawn the peasants. Sometimes the board wants more peasants. Count the number of peasants in the upper left corner of the movement card. Wow, we got one. We got a peasant on this one. So you can uh, sort of make it up right here. There's a peasant. Um, if the board already has at least this many peasants, then it is satisfied. So we have one peasant. We've got three out there. It's satisfied. Nothing happens. If not, move peasants from the trog meter to the unburdenated college until this board is satisfied. Um, then burdenate them. Each unburdenated cottage on tile without a peasant can spawn one peasant. Therefore, the number of unburdenated cottages without peasants on them is the upper limit of peasants that can be spawned on a single turn. So, you can only spawn <coughs> up to, currently, three peasants. If multiple unburdenated cottages can spawn a peasant, you decide which one spawns the new peasant. Spawning is different from damage. Ask your parents! Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, Damn. Move the peasants. Damn. The peasant arrow in the lower left of the movement card shows a compass direction. Move all peasants one step in that direction. Bottom left. Uh, peasants repair tiles. If the peasant's arrow says move and repair, then the peasants also unburninate any burninated tiles they step on. Uh, I was wondering. So, like this one has move and repair. So, wherever they stop, anything burninated, they fix. Uh, the knights, including the trog hammer, if he is in play, uses the movement path on the right side of the card. They are technically move at the same time, but move them one at a time to keep it simple. So they move the movement path. Knights repair cottages. If a knight starts on, moves through, or stops on a tile with a burninated cottage, the knight repairs that cottage to its unburninated state. Dang it! Knights damage Trogdor. If a knight enters Trogdor's tile, or vice versa, Trogdor takes one point of damage. Move one peasant from the trog meter onto the void. If the trog meter has no peasants left, when you try to remove a peasant, the damage defeats him. So that's our health. Okay. So you want to eat peasants so that they go on the trog meter. But you also want to burn an eight peasants so they'll, so they'll go to the void. Yeah. <sighs> there's, a, there's a fine line in shit. Yeah. Uh, if a knight starts on the same tile as Trogdor, the damage was already done when they met, so it doesn't happen again. If Trogdor is hiding or has some sort of damage prevention against knights, he takes no damage from the knights. Move the archer. Next, the archer moves and shoots using the same movement path as the knights. The archer doesn't damage Trogdor by entering his tile, but instead fires arrows forward and backwards in the direction of the archer's last step. For example, if the archer's last step is east, then the archer fires arrows east and west, and Trogdor takes one point of damage if he's in that path. The arrow's path does not include the archer's tile. Uh, if Trogdor is hiding or has some sort of damage prevention, when the archer shoots, everybody yell, ARROWED! Uh, end your turn. Your turn passes. Troghammer. The Troghammer is the third knight, way cooler looking than the first two. He has the ability to move during both phases of your turn. What a jerk! The Troghammer card should be removed from the action deck at the start of the game. Shuffle them into the deck the first time Trogdor takes damage. 
after getting hit by a knight or archer. Drawing a trog hammer card. If the trog hammer is not on the board yet, when you draw a trog hammer card, place him in the center tile from the trog meter. If the trog hammer is already in play when you draw a trog hammer card, you move him. If you draw more than one trog hammer card on the same turn, you move the trog hammer each time. The trog hammer moves any time his card is drawn from the action deck and also whenever the other knights do. To move the trog hammer, draw a card from the movement deck and use its movement path. If you're playing with babies, use only four trog hammer cards. AKA, if we want to play easy mode, we only use four versus seven. We only mm -hmm. use one. <laughs> Uh, Trogdor starts with four peasants on his Trogmator, representing his health. If Trogdor chomps a peasant, he gains health. Move that peasant from the board to the Trogmator. When the Trogdor takes damage, move one peasant from the Trogmator to the void. If the Trog Hammer cards are still set aside, shuffle them in. Losing a peasant when it spawns onto the board is not damage, so the effect that are triggered by damage, such as shuffling the Trog Hammer, are not triggered. So, um... The Trogdor's health drops below zero. He's not quite defeated, but it takes another point of damage while already at zero, then it's over. Flip the page to learn about Trogdor's final heroic act. What? Wow! <laughs> There's actually a whole page on, like, bullshit that Trogdor does when he dies. And it's a long page. Uh, the game can either end in triumph or fiery rage. That's because even if he is defeated, Trogdor gets one last chance to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Trogdor's keepers are victorious if the following conditions are ever met at the same time. All 25 tiles are burninated. All three cottages are burninated. No peasants are on the board. And Trogdor is not defeated. Trogdor is defeated if he takes damage from a knight or archer when he is already at zero health or all players have no action cards. Then the game is heating up fiery rage. Uh, special tiles. We have cottage tiles, which they're the ones that look like they got a little... Um, this re uh, the cottage can't be burninated unless every surrounding tile is burninated, including the diagonal adjacent tiles and the cottage tile itself. This requirement does not wrap around, so cottage at the edge of the board is easier to burn than one in the center. If a tile next to a burninated cottage becomes unburninated, this doesn't repair the cottage, but it does make it harder to reignite. Mountains give Trogdor the ability to hide. Um, tunnels give you move through the tunnel. Lakes is harder to burn. Flowers, forests, stumps, and trees are typically... These typically don't do anything unless you have a card that refers to them. And then empty tiles. Some cards talk about empty tiles. These are the tiles that contain no pieces. A.K.A. no knights, trog hammer, archer, peasants, cottages, or trog door. All the tiles retain their abilities even when burninated. There we go. That's got our rules. Thank you for sitting with us for the past, uh, whatever minutes that is, 40 minutes, minus 10, so 30 minutes for rule induction and craziness. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't ever start with myself. I'm not number one. <laughs> I gotta give it to Paige or somebody else. Two! God damn it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! Still start. Okay, so I'm going to... ass. Yeah, speaking of assholes. Mm -hmm. uh, I am the Galgabudge. You may treat mountain tiles as if they were also tunnels. Nice. nice. Don't listen to what their mom says. Galga is some kind of mole person. It's not just a stolen mascot costume from a local school, like at all. This yours is kind of funny. I also have the ring of Voip. Voip. Uh, teleport Trogdor to any tile. Nice. I recharge when a cottage or cottage tile is burninated. Voip. Uh, 
Give us who your character is. I am Brovlod. Peasants cannot repair burninated tiles during your turn. Brovlod is a starting toss monger for the Keepers of Trogdor's official fast pitch goat ball team, earning a record eight fatalities last season. Okay. What you and what's your item? My item is the Disc of Healing. Use. Return a peasant from the void to the trog meter. Recharge condition none. Woo! So it's a one-time use. So it's one of those you use when we're getting close to dying. Okay. I thought we just meant no, the condition. No, there's no way to recharge it. Yeah, none. Recharge, oh. none. No recharge, got it. That's I the way I read it. Yeah. I am Yubbits. I may trade action cards with other players, either on my turn or theirs. Yubbits' favorite drink is powdered milk mixed with lemonade, but not powdered lemonade mixed with milk. That's just gross. <laughs> this guy is disgusting. Okay. I also have the uh, Shield of Cumberdale, which is a trash can lid. Use Prevent Trogdor from taking a point of damage from a knight. Recharge when Trogdor gains health. Okay. Hmm. So I am Hegeltha. On your turn, Trogdor may also use the hide action on any unburdenated forest tile. Nice. Hegeltha joined the keepers of Trogdor just to get out of the house a couple nights a week. I heard those antler lanterns are full of peasant teeth. Ew. And I have the Baubles of Ashtray. During Trogdor's actions, move a knight to an empty tile. Recharge when Trogdor visits a tile. Okay. So I go first. Um, I draw a card. I have Junka Health and Wraparound. Both of them give me 5 AP. Chunk of help. Before Trogdor's actions, he may chunk any peasant on the board for free. Uh, wrap around. Trogdor gains wrap around movement this turn. Ah. So you can in here and then. Yep. Um, so I get five movement, which means I can move, ch or five AP, move, chunk, burrow, hide, or burn an aid. Um,. Is one one movement is one AP. Yeah. Why don't we just go ahead and chomp a peasant? Yeah, I was thinking this one down so here. So we always start with five AP. No, no, no. Like I have a yeah. both of my cards are five AP. Okay. So you got four. AP. Okay. Now, if you don't want to use your cards because you draw a card and play one of the two, if you don't want to use one of the two you have, you get five AP with no special ability. Gotcha. So if you've got two like shit AP cards, but they yeah. Um, also, if you need to, I can trade you Stump and Rock. Now, I, is it only on your turn? No, it's on others as well. Wait. I can trade on my turn or others. You may trade action cards with other players. Either on my turn or theirs. So if you need Stump and Rock for some reason, I can give it to you. I don't, I don't see a point in Stump and Rock right now. Right, on, right now, I'm thinking I should, oh, yeah, eat, I should eat a peasant. Yes. And then I think I should start the burninating. So, so I'm going to eat this guy. Because he's surrounded by the night marcher. Yep. Uh, and I'm just going to burn an eight. Uh, so I've got five AP. Um, so I'm going to start by burninating right here. That's one. Two. Three. Four, five. Now it is. Now turn. it's draw. Uh, draw a movement card. Spawn the peasants. Uh, 
We have one peasant on the board, so we uh, spawn no new peasants. Move the peasants all one space east, and they repair anything that they can. Nothing. Now, move the knights. All knights, including Trawcammer, move, and the archer, move the path. Whew, this is going to be fun. Um, also, I shuffled the Trawcammers in when? When he takes damage gotcha. the first time. So, this knight doesn't move it. Well, he does this. Because you can't wrap around. Uh, that knight moves three up. Uh, well, two up. Sorry. And then he's supposed to go left and then up, but he can't. He met and made babies with a peasant. Is that right? Page nine. Wanted to make sure I got this right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they can't. They can't wrap around. Didn't figure they could. Uh, so next, the archer moves. Same way. Uh, he shoots this way. He shoots this way. And then he shoots this way. So he shoots on every single one of the tiles. Yeah. Okay. And it's in the direction that he moved. Okay. I was just making sure it wasn't like end movement. No. Does he accidentally shoot the knight? How much? <laughs> I w yeah, there, that would be an awesome thing. Uh, and that's the end of my turn. Um, David, you're up. Here's your second action card. Make your choice. You've got consummate these, and what's the other one? Flip them up, Dan. After Trogdor's actions, he may burn a, any number of adjacent tiles to the north, south, east, or west. Nice. Okay, so that's worth getting him, like, in the center of something. And yeah. It's worth getting him in at the cottage space. Yeah. So one... It would take all action points just to get to the cottage space. one action card per turn? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take the four. Oh. You can hit the top. Points. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. I'd burn an eight one of them while you're going for the four. If you're going to do the flip them up, Dan, like I'd burn an eight here, probably. Did you lose the tunnel? No. Okay. I could burrow it on the other tunnel. That's what we were talking about. Yeah, no, one burn an eight. All no. Four of those. Uh, one, burn an eight. Two, to there. Three, there. And then you use your ability to burn an eight. Any number of adjacent tiles. Yeah, and you burn an eight the cottage. This place because it doesn't burn yeah, the cottage. Your last yeah. four, and then one, well, two, three, four. if he hits the burrow, he can't burn an egg that tile because it's one, two, three, and then it's the action point to do it. No, no, no. Oh no, it's one, just a free action. One, two, three. So you take burn an Yeah. And then that's the end. So then he would hit these four. Oh, okay. Yeah. And peasants can't repair during my turn. Let's do that. So, go there. Burn an eight. Uh, no, no, burn an eight the cot uh, the yeah. cottage space. Okay. So, so we Because this will be three. Burn an eight. Four. Four. That so way we can burn an eight the cottage at the start of next turn. Right. Well, almost, because we have to get these. Oh, oh, that's right. Fuck. But, it's still progress. Yeah. So then, the end would be north... Uh, any number of adjacent tiles to so north, south, east, or west. 
any, um, any, yeah, number, any number, which means basically all of them. Yeah. Okay, here's your movement card. You got no peasants, so we're good on that one. Peasants move and repair, but they don't repair on your turn. Nope, so just move. Um, west. <laughs> uh, movement Chomp, by the night. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, that's different. Knights don't repair. Um, yeah, they don't repair land. They don't repair land. They only repair cottages. Mm -hmm. Oh, but the peasant would repairs, repairs land, but he's not so. on his turn. Yep. So this guy moves south, south, east, south. Damn it! And the archer goes south. He went for Wait. swim. South. East. South. Does Woo. the archer do any repairs? No, I don't think so. Uh, uh, nope. Go. Uh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Starts off now with Brian. Brian, draw your action card. Let's get this... Show on the road. I got wrap around. Ooh. So everything has to be off the tile for me to burn and aid a cottage, including the peasant. Uh, burn and aiding cottages. Um, cottage can only be burn and if its own tile and all surrounding oh, yeah. tiles, including, including diagonals. diagonals, are burn and aided. Gotcha. Three. But you can go ahead and chomp a peasant. Oh, yep. yeah. Just off. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing the four action one. Okay. So chomp for one. Okay. Uh, what does your action card say? Once this turn, if uh, Trogdor burninates tile with a stump or rock, I gain four more AP. Okay. So there's oh. one, two, three, burninate, stump, So you get four more AP. Yeah. That's still progress. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it keeps I mean, you could, you could come yeah, this I can way, just too. just go burn an eight. One, so two. So one, two. And then burn an eight. Three, four. Nice. I saw like that diagonal on that corner. We also have a lot of rock around. Uh, ooh. Crap. We need two peasants to spawn. That's they come nice. off. Yes. Oh, meter. wait, wait, wait. Do they? I think they're they on us. They can't spawn. Sometimes the board wants more peasants. Count the number in the upper left corner. If the board already has at least this many peasants, then it is satisfied. If not, move peasants from the trog meter to the unburninated cottages. So you, we get two more peasants. Yeah, one on each. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's unburned in cottages. Yep. They now move northwest. He repairs. Piece of shit. No, northwest. Yep. Oh, gotcha. That. So it did diagonal. Yeah. Um, I still got on. two free burninates out of it. Yeah, but I also think he heals the one that he's on when they're summoned. Uh, if the peasant arrow says move and repair, then the peasants also unburninate any burninated oh. tiles they stop this on. This just says move. It doesn't say repair. Oh, it doesn't repair. Yeah, that's, that's right. Sweet. 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 Uh, and it's where they stop. It's not where they... Yeah. Uh, okay, so now uh, the knights move mm -hmm. uh, west, south, south, west. The archer moves... West, 
South. Shit. South. Hey, Archer did some work. In. Yeah. Now shuffle in. Too bad it says I can perform a damage from a knight and not an archer. Yeah. Finish calling Trondor. Whenever knight. we summon the hammer. Or whenever. Draw hammer. Card. Instead of our action, basically. We still have an action card. No, so you draw the tro if you draw a trog hammer, you summon the trog hammer to the center board. Um, Do what the card says. And then you draw a new card. If trog hammer is already out there, he then moves instead of. So now comes the point where we're going to have a second, a uh, third knight, possibly. Uh, starts with page. Draw a card. Shot put. After Trogdor's actions, he may burn a tile, peasant, or edible cottage from up to, uh, eligible cottage from up to two tiles away in any single direction. Oh, nice. And I have block, which is during the knights and archer's action, Trogdor can't take damage from them on this turn. I mean, depending on where you're going, if you're coming over here, I would probably use the block one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Um. Yeah, see, I think... What's, what's your ability? Mine? Uh, well, I can hide in forests. Okay. And what's your item? Uh, during his action, I can move a knight to an empty tile. Okay. Which... I can also give you wraparound if you need it. I, uh, I think doing the block for now... Give me one, burn an eight. Two or one, two, three, burning it. Yeah. I mean, it's up to you. But then have blocks, so just in case the archer. You can also burn the cottage while you're there. I don't have enough actions. On which one? It's four. One, two, three, four. Or, oh, that's right, you're using that one, not shot mode. Yeah. Sounds good, as long as the uh, peasant doesn't repair. Right. I'm going to try it. <coughs> so, do that one, and you trade with me, and then trade with him? No. No, just once. Just, just once. once. And then Okay, uh, what's the resistance on the leg? Like, if it's harder to burn? Yeah, you gotta have everything around it burned first. So that's basically a cottage space. Yeah. So my peasant turn. We need two peasants. We got two peasants. Mm -hmm. They move southwest. Just move. Um, yeah. No repair. Uh, move southwest. He can't move it. Um, movement for the knights. West, west. <laughs> south, south. Uh, west, west. South, south. You're blocking, so it doesn't matter. Huzzah. Which is good, because that would put us down to zero. <laughs> My turn? Yes, sir. Uh, give me a card. Uh, move the trog hammer, then draw another card. Draw another card. Zero AP? What the hell? Patho burn a nation. Take no actions this turn, even if you have AP. Draw a movement card. Without moving, Trogdor burninates everything in that path. Whoa. That'd be See, handy if you wasn't in that corner. There. You could like. Uh, I can do that because I have uh, teleport Trogdor to any tile. Oh yeah. Is burninate every tile? Burninate, no. It's it's burninates everything in that path. Well, it included? always starts on that tile, tile, right? Yeah. 
Is there a way to burn a nick the knights and archers? No. Oh. But it would burn an eighth of peasant. We'll forget on the board. I think I think I'm gonna hold on to Path of Burnination for the Actually. Do I hold on to it or do I swap it with If you trade with me you can get rid of the two of them right there. Right? Discard and get five AP. No, no, no. Oh. What I was thinking about was swapping this with you, because mm -hmm. then I'd have two wraparounds, and I'd just use a wraparound, but I'd chomp a guy, burn a native cottage, that's two AP, wrap around. that's three AP, four AP to eat, or to burn and that puts us right there next to burn the over. next, yeah. Yeah, uh, that makes perfect sense. So, let's swap. That way you could do that later, possibly, or you can give it to somebody later. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to do a wraparound, which is 5 AP. Because shot put can also be used on the same So I chomp, right? that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. So, in essence, fuck this half of the board. Uh, oh, let's put this on to the side so that for the later. Draw camera. Now peasants. Now movement and peasants. Oh wait, doesn't he move? With knights. He also moves on other phases. I thought. Uh, when a draw camera is drawn. Okay. But it, he that was his putting gotcha. him out there. So he moves this turn. Yeah. Uh, there needs to be at least one peasant. There's two. They all move to the west. To the west. To Just the west. Move. Yep. Sweet. Come on, go to the burning Knights. Light. Move west. North. North. West. Does he repair? Uh, I think he does. I think Trogammer counts as a... Uh, counts as a knight. He's just a knight that looks more badass. I thought he only pulled well, a knight so I paid to land. Troghammer is not on the board yet. Uh, moving. Troghammer moves anytime his card is drawn from an action deck. Also, whenever the other knights do, to move the Troghammer, draw a card from the movement deck and use its movement path, then ignore the rest of this card and discard it. Uh, if he spawns on or stops on a tile with a knight or archer, move him again. Um. Doesn't say he repairs. Has the ability to move during both phases of your turn. The Trog Hammer cards should be removed from the. Bu, 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 bu. The Trog Hammer is a third knight. Way cooler looking than the first two, who has the ability to move. No, he. I think he still follows he the is knight. A knight. Yeah, he is a knight. Damn. Well, that sucks. Uh, the archer moves west, north, north. West. David! Mm. Oh, turn your ability card. If you've used it. Yeah, you did. My, that's not my ability card, that's just Trog my person. Hammer with Trog Hammer, Trog oh. card. Okay, Trog Hammer. Mm -hmm. He moves west, mm -hmm. north, mm -hmm. north, mm -hmm. east. That's right here. Draw another card. Truck hammer! Huh. Oh, I got two costume of these. <laughs> I can move diagonally. Cool. Uh, which will actually works because you can move down here and then One, diagonal up. Two, three, four. Uh, yeah. Definitely. So, down, burn, diagonal, ignite. If we spawn a peasant from a burning cottage, it can't. Okay. Has to be a non. Wasn't sure about that. Yeah. Non-burning cottages. Sweet. Ready? Mm-hmm. No peasants spawn. Okay. Sweet. Peasants move east. Knights. Uh, is it move and repair? No. Nope. Okay. West. West. 
South. South. He moves again because he's still on the experiment. East. Oh. He has to stop on it. Uh, what is it? If he spawns on or stops on a tile with a knight or archer, yeah. move him again. He's not stopped on one. But archer uh, turn. Archer. Uh, west. West. South. South. East. God, These guys love staying together. Pew, pew. It's going to make it hard to kill that, uh... That peasant? Yeah. Alright. Drop turn. Sidewise. Once during Trogdor's action, he may burninate an adjacent tile to the north, south, east, or west for free. No action point? It's 5 AP. No, I'm saying no, that. Yeah, for free. No. Yeah, no action points to do it. So you technically have six. Yeah. If the last one is burned. This whole quadrant of war is going to be hard to burn right now. Mm-hmm. One of my ears. One of yours. Either yours or mine. Not mine. <laughs> I mean, it's hard that's for, for you to sure. have them. We don't get any more item cards? Yeah, that's way. No, you don't get any more item cards. Which, tomorrow I'm getting shaved and this trimmed up. I don't believe it. it. might be when you use them. Let's, oh, no, 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 no. You don't get any more. Because that's your, like, that's basically what your thing is. So you got a crap, you got a good one, but a crappy one at the same time because it's got no recharge. Path of Burnination would have been good, like first thing in the game. Oh yeah, dude. Because now there's a chance, like if I were to use it right now, I just hit already burninated stuff. Yeah. Dude, Trogdor's fiery rage. Even in defeat, Trogdor rages out with magnificent glory, laying waste to everything he can before stomping off the board in frustration. Trogi doesn't like losing games. He rage quits. Trogdor is defeated. Draw five movement cards for Trogdor and move him along those five movement paths in order, burninating his starting tile and everything he touches. During his spree of fiery rage, Trogdor gains wraparound movement as he burninates cottages, Two, peasants, and tiles three, just by walking onto them. Four, five, burninate with the free action sideways, or sidewise, which gives the next person, because I can get hit by a knight and block the damage if it happens. Okay. Only one knight, though. And this also gives whoever comes up next Burninate, move over and Burninate that. So if Trogdor's Fiery Rage succeeds in Burninating all the tiles, cottages, and peasants, you gain a total table flip victory, which is more spectacular than a regular victory by a factory of ten. No matter the outcome, every game should end with everyone shouting a rousing It's over! in unison. <laughs> Alright. Time for movement. Oh my god, that was hilarious. Uh, no peasants spawn. Okay. But they do move and repair. Mm -hmm. Southeast. Damn. Movement path of your knights. Move north. West. West. North. Shit. North. North, mm -hmm. west, west, north, north. I like the the icon uh, the iconography so that you can tell that he shoots in both directions. Yeah. type thing that's pretty awesome. We're also right next to a peasant as well, so we can chop. Right? Do they go in the void? Uh, if they get sh if we get shot, yes. Okay. You need to use your disc of healing. <laughs> some point here, yeah. Uh, whose turn is it? It is now Pidges. Good old Opegalol. Slantwise. Concerning Trogdor's action, he may burn a diagonally adjacent tile for free. Oh, cool. So I can either huck 
two away or go angle. Both are fine. There's also the lake right next to you. Four and eight, four and eight, four, five. Hmm? Now, if you can do the, the, the hook diagonal, yeah. what's the, what's it say exactly? After the action, to be burned a tile, peasant, or eligible cottage from up to two tiles away in any single direction. So, so slit wise, one, that's you burn a diagonal, mm, correct? Two. Uh, one steering truck doors. Actions you may. So one, two, three, four, whoop, five. But this one is also a free one if he doesn't move. Do yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought one you steer, it. One steering oh. his turn. Yeah, so you yeah, burn sorry. a knight here, and then you instantly use that to burn a knight there for so a free one. So we're still one. on one. So yeah. Three, four, and so burn the cottage for five. Wait, is it a free burn? Yeah. You may, yep, for burn free. for free. Okay. So we can do the, so that one, the cottage, or no, not the cottage, down. Two, uh, zero. Then two, three, four. Can't burn the cottage yet, because we got this still. It was either... Don't burn that tile or move directly over to the tunnel and eat that peasant. Oh, I would have, yeah, yeah, I would have done that. that. Yeah. Because that'll be easier. Move over, chop, burn. Yeah. You get, if you get five, so now we have said fuck cottage. this area. <laughs> of the board. Yeah, I'm trying. I don't want to see it. I <laughs> know. Because all it takes is two peasants, or three peasants on the card, and we lose. Oh, yeah. Because they're on the void. And then we do get rage, though. How many? Four. Shit. My peasants are one. So we put one peasant on each cottage. And one comes from the void, correct? Nope. Nope, they don't come back from the void unless someone makes yep. it. So if we take damage... We go into fiery rage mode. They move. No repair. Northwest. Here is our night movement. Mm -hmm. East. One more east. Dang. Fuck. That's it. Oh, yeah. Blop, blop, blop. Shots blop. twice. <laughs> yep. Okay, here goes. Fiery Rage of Induction. Let's oh go my. to... We might have... We just lost the game, but we still might win. Okay, during his spree of Fiery Rage, Trogdor wraps around, and... So here we go. I will read everybody. I read directions. You burn it, and it burns everything, mm -hmm. including the one he starts on. So where he started, move east. Burn it all. It burns everything. Yeah. In, in a fiery fit of rage, he <laughs> move east. North. East. Come on, east. Move east. Burns everything. Put the peasant. Or There's no peasant on this one. Move east. Oh, that peasant. Uh, no, he doesn't burn. He just dies. Oh. He didn't get to do the hat. South. 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 So we got rid of most of the peasants so far. Mm -hmm. But I... It's a chance. South. Um. East. South. West. West. 
Nice. Oh, come on. Okay, we just need a straight line. <laughs> south, north, north. No, south, 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 south. South, south, West. South. south. Oh. West. North. 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 Shit. Last one. North. East. North. Shit. West. West. Dang. Where'd that cheater card go? So, there's our first game of Trogdor. Fuck this shit! Wait, what were we supposed to say? It's over! It's over! <laughs> it's over. We were playing by fucking rules! Uh, welcome to uh, Trogdor. It's fun, though. Yeah, it's good game. It's a great game. Um, Once we understand. Yeah, yeah we've been playing uh, roughly less than an hour, because it's an hour 20 in our stream time. Uh, we, we started, started at, mark. at the yeah forty something mark for the actual game uh, past the rules. I should have hit the marker button so that I could go back later and like. So, do you guys want to do another game of it? Sure. So let's reset. Also, fuck drug hammer. Uh, do we want to change our keepers and all? It's fine by me. Keepers. Items. Do we want to do the same map? Yeah, same map. Because there's only, like, limited maps anyways. Please. Yep. Keeper. Keeper. Items. 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 Uh, I gotta figure out where the knights and all go. I never want to see the fucking powdered milk and lemonade ever again. Well, you're gonna get him again in a second. It sounds disgusting. Like his power is fine, but you are disgusting. I like lemonade stuff. Yeah, I like I like milk? lemonade, but I'm with well, milk. Well, see, here's the here's the key. It's powdered, powdered milk. milk with lemonade, not to be confused with milk with powdered lemonade. Yeah. Still. Ew. <laughs> no. Which what? Which way is it? Powdered milk with lemonade, not to be confused with powdered lemonade and milk. That's just gross. Yeah. I'm curious. Same. Curiosity. I'm not you saying can be it's curious. Good. You can be curious. It's about as disgusting as putting banana on pizza. That's not bad. It's like watching that Jim Belushi movie with uh, where he's the principal, and he takes a beer and mixes like protein powder with it. Carry rather than <laughs> a beer milkshake. Here we go. Uh, who if goes first? If I projectile first? vomit, I'm pointing it at you. Five, one, two, three, four, five. No. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. Sweet. Right. Yeah. I'm the only one that got to do one. I shuffled them, so. Holy shit. Behold the field in which I grow my action points. <laughs> See how it is rich in nutrient and loam. Yeah, I got the disc of field. It's literally one card different for each. Like, I got the same item card even. 
Like, there's three items that we already saw and just one new item card. Okay, so the new character that we got in this, I'm now Stonklar. Stonklar. On your turn, Trogdor has wraparound movement. Nice. Cool. Stony acts like he can't understand you unless you talk in that backwards -y syntax. The chicken wings to me, please pass. Ugh, that guy. Fucking Yoda. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what's the new item card we got out here? That dog tennis ball thing. Set with fireballs. Use Burninate any tile or eligible cottage. Recharge when Trogdor visits the corner store. I mean tile. Any corner tile. Okay. I think I got a new one as well. No. Nope. It's the Baubles of Ashtray. Yeah. I mean, Ashtray. I mean you, it's new to you, but Paige had it last time. Okay. Got it. Heckle fun. Okay, Paige. Trog door. Trog door. Hey, cool, you got Stumpin' Rock. Yeah. When you start this game, it's so, like, awesome, because it is like you're just burninating as you're going. And then and later then it, on, it's like, oh. oh. Yeah. Burninate the countryside. So, if I do burn eight there, I now have seven. Oh, that had a rock on it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, I'm do the stuff on the rock. Two, three, four, five. You have two more. No, technically you have uh, once this turn. Oh, that's right. I was hoping it would yeah. keep stacking. Yeah. yeah. No, that'd be broken as shit because then you could just hit the tunnel and chain off again. He can move and burn an eight one more tile, or no, he can mountains can, and hide. No, he can move. He can move. He still got. Uh, so it gives you an additional four. So yes. one, two, three, four. Move here. So you've used one of your four, Five. so you've got three more move, wow. three more AP, because it's give you four more AP, not, yep. so I'll total it's eight AP. Mm -hmm. So you've done one, one two, two, three, three four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. And then he gets another move, if that's what it is. Or chomp. So I could move, burn, move, chomp. Six, uh... No, that's four. Uh, yeah. Six, seven, and then move over here. Eight. Out of the way. Yeah, I mean, you could do that. Or you, I worry about that. The The thing is, is it could go up and over. Like, True. We, we don't know that bullshit already. Yeah. Is it an AP to use an item? No. Okay. You can only use your item on your turn. Right. I'm just saying. I'm going to do that just to... Three, four... Uh, uh, yeah. Yep. Seven, eight. Okay. Alright, it is... Here comes the peasants. Here comes the peasants. There needs to be two peasants on the board. There are. Yeah. There are three. Mm -hmm. uh, they move northeast. Here is the knight's movement. North. East. Alright, east is this one. North. West. West. North. East. Oh, yeah, we're getting hit twice. North. Shit. West. West. Like I said, that, that shit there is what. Well, luckily, we're right next to it. Give me a... Oh. Shuffle... Nope. Shuffle them in. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. Man, that shuffled in quickly this time. Mm-hmm. Fan. The fan's making a ton of noise. Oh! 
We really appreciate our fans, but y'all could y'all keep it down? Y'all shut the fuck up! Yeah. Drug door! Drug door! Drug door! Thank you. Uh, sidewise. I can do sidewise or slantwise. Ooh. Cool. Um. Slantwise is good because it saves a lot of energy. Both of well, both of them are good. Um. Oh man. What you gonna do, Drogdor? Drogdor don't know. We do something. Now the match. Uh okay. I'm gonna do Sidewise. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best movement. Mm -hmm. Um, one, two, three, four, five, sidewise. and sidewise. And then if it gets back around, well, it won't get, we won't be where we are. Ooh! I should have thought about it. I can do work, wrap around. Movement. I could have gone upward. And basically put myself in here. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Damn. Think about that next time. Uh, are there two peasants on the board? Yep. So. Well, they move and repair. To the south. Oh, good. Yep. Here goes our knight's move. I got one knight. Somebody else grab the other one. Oh. Nope, he hasn't come out yet. Yeah, I've drawn the card. Oh, okay, that's it. I thought it was when you shuffled. Nope. Heart. South. South. West. West. Oh, we're good. Nope. South, south. Yep. South. 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 Does a mountain count as a big rock? No. Nope. I wish it did. There's only two stumps left on the board. Right mm -hmm. I thought we need that for the burn. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to, it was one, two, three, four. And then you can continue moving. Burn, burn. That puts you at four and you don't burn, get one. No. You have to move all the way to the stump first just to burn it to move back. Okay. One, or two. you sideways. Or sideways. And that gives you five movement. Mm -hmm. So burn, move, burn, move. Sideways. Four, eight. No, I can't use that and that. Sorry. No. Sidewise. We use the bubble to the ashtray. And I'm going to split these fuckers up. Okay. Um, 
Hey, hey, everyone in chat. <laughs> Sorry, he's a dick, chat. <laughs> It, dude, I watched I watched the meter. It just, boom! It exploded. Burn. <laughs> um, wait, you're moving a. Which tile did you move? Empty tile. I moved a knife. Oh, he's got a peasant on it. Yeah. Okay. You can move with him. No, no, no. You can move him here. Or like anywhere else that's empty. Oh, okay. Doesn't have to be like directly adjacent. It just says move a knight to an empty tile. Move. Burn. Sidewise burn. Which one? Three or five. Mm -hmm. Four or five. Burn. That was five. Are there two peasants? Yes. Mm -hmm. They move southwest. Here we go. Starting with the first nine. West, west, south, south, west, west, south, south. Again. Again, they're all crowded together. Fuckers! Do you want to stop and rock this turn? So what? Do you want to stop and rock this turn so you can get four of the rest of the Nobody can have that one. Nobody has trade. that card. You have to have Nobody the, has that uh, person right now. We can't play. Oh. Oh, Different game. Consummate these. Consummate. Yep. Consummate. 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 You need to move the eye, bro. Change. Move, burn, move. Set on fire. High energy? Yeah, we're gonna see Trogdor on crack. What's it say? Behold the field in which I grow my action points. See how it is rich in nutrients and loam. I get seven action points. Yeah, okay. That's all. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and. Is it an action point to use your item? No. Nope. No? Seven. And... Bam! Which? Corner with all the knights in the orchard. Okay. That's it for me. Are there one peasant on the ground? Yes, yes. there is. They move east. Go on first land. Here we go. They all move west. Okay. They all move north. Okay. They all move north. Okay. They all move east. Jerup. Hey. Hey, hey. Wow. The warps of tunnels is good. Before Trogdor's actions, you may swap one tunnel tile with any tile that doesn't contain a cottage. Hmm. Pieces on these tiles move with them, including Trogdor. Or I could do block. 
Block might be good at this point with the where they're sitting. Archer's so close. Yeah. Yeah. I think mean, that's what we're doing. I would not like like a Archer. I get four. East, west, west, or east, north, north, west. Corner tail. Okay, peasant's turn. I cannot repair this turn. Are there no peasants on the? They move east. The knights move west. West, south, south, east. So, good no. tall there. Because he's got. Oh, block you up. used block, my bad. Block. So I thought you used tall. Tall. Give me my action card. Cock block. Uh, flip him up, friend! After Trogdor's action, he may burn and any number of diagonal adjacent tiles. Okay. Um, or I can slantwise. Both of those suck pretty. You also Actually, have, you have wraparound. Have wraparound. Yep. I can't burn an eight that no wake yet. But you can't eat him. Yep. So one chomp him. Two is go here. Three. Hide. Nope. Four. Flip flip him up, friend. I oh, know diagonal tiles. Yep. Not not adjacent diagonal. So I get this one. Um the hell's getting towards that door mm -hmm. And Teleported? I think so. Teleport where he's not too far. They're all in there, but they're also over there. I think I'm gonna teleport him to the tunnel that's already been burninated. That's not a bad idea. Because then we can just bamp right back over. Or or you can just come over this way. So yeah. I'm gonna teleport over here. So whenever a cottage or cottage tile is burninated, I get my ring of Voight back. Here we go. Who has it in the tile? So Peasants! How many? Please don't tell me that's four. Zero. Sweet. They move south. Here goes the knights. They go east, don't they? North. North. East. East. Bang. Damn. Fuck you, drag door. Here we go. 
I would have been better off staying over here. Mm-hmm. Slant wise, most of the truckers next to see me burning a diagonally like Jason Top before you. Or. There's no more stumps or rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Currently. Bubbles. Under the night. I'd move the archer. Yeah. Can, Can you move, move the archer? It says knight. It, says, it, says oh, it only says knight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, move the knight. Yeah. Go. Where's the nearest oh, tunnel? Or, on or mountain? You're on oh, the tunnel. Oh, mountain tunnel. So you gotta use the tunnel. Mm-hmm. Which, so which, which card are you using to do your AP? Okay. Use tunnel one mm -hmm. to recharge. That's fine. Oh yeah, these are free actions to do this. Mm. I'll use the slant wise to burn this tile. Okay. So that's one, two. That's nope, that's a free action. Free, free action. One, so you're still at one. Two burn, so that's three, three actions action. total. thinking about just getting out of their way. I'd go up to the, where the peasants are. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Four, five. Four, five. Mm -hmm. Here it goes. We need two peasants on the board. Take one. Spawn. I don't know what. The unburned cottages. They move northeast. So he moves to the other cottage. He's like, Archer, Archer, that's on Tractor! Oh shit! Shit, 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 shit. So then the knights, they move east. East. South. South, west, <laughs> Brian's, you're good. They like clumping together, like. Yeah. All right. So here's the bad thing. Avoidable. We've got a uh, trog hammer in there, and we're also in the middle tile. Okay, sweet. Wrap around. Yeah, but they don't. They don't double up damage when you draw them. Okay. It, it's the whole double whammy thing. They're like, nope, don't do that shit. So I'm going to use consummate. Consummate V's. Consummate. Consummate V's. Consummate V's, man. I'm then going to skadoosh. One. Two. Ooh. I don't know. I gotta skadoosh. Nice. Chomp. Three. three. And four. four. Four is burning. Nice turn. This is all for me. Okay. And if I can just keep bouncing between the corners, I can take out the cottages as well. What's up? How many? We need four peasants. Well, we can only summon two. We can no, summon we can three. Summon three. I just ate one. Oh. I thought they had to have an empty cottage. No, <laughs> just a cottage. Non-burned oh. cottage. Chomp, chomp. Yep. They move. Actually, I could just put all three over on that one. Chomp, and then chomp, it's chomp, 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 on whoever's turn. <laughs> 
That's a true. possibility. The cards can break the game, right? Yeah. We were told yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. How does that work? I mean, hell, I'm breaking the game with the thing that the dog tennis ball. Played, okay. Except with if the board partners. already has at least this many peasants, then it is satisfied. If not, move peasants from the trog meter to unburninated cottages until the board is satisfied. Mm-hmm. It doesn't say that they have to be so spread out. they had to be burning. The, un, the number of unburdenated cottages without peasants on them is the upper limit of peasants <laughs> that can be spawned on a single turn. If multiple unburdenated cottages can spawn a peasant, you decide which one spawns the new peasant. So, it's got to be one on each. Aww. Is that face? Nice? No, there's only one there. Yeah. It wasn't spawned, though. There was one here, and then there was right. none here, one here, none here, so one, two, three. So technically, you could put the yeah, one here guy on because he does have a, it does have one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now the question is just where do they move? North, west. No, no reverse. Sweet. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. We go east. We go south. We go south. We go west. Nice. Let's Right, Opegalol. You spend two to eat things. Hmm. Wow. What? Chomp chomp. Two oh, actions. you're just saying I'm going to be, yeah. Hidey hole. <laughs> After Trogdor's actions, he may burrow to a mountain tile and hide there for free. Nice. That's not bad. So I could... Oh, yeah. Bite, bite. Move. I can't burn. You can bite, bite, no, no. move, One, burn. two, three, four, and then burrow for free. Yeah, Or okay. we can burn this one. Wait, wait, burrow. no, wait, wait. After his actions, he may burrow to yeah. the mountain top. So we can so also bite, chomp, bite. chomp, burn this one and be closer to those. Yeah, that's what I would do. Cooperation! It's fun, guys! So do which? Burn this one. Burn that one. So After, bite, bite. After a so nice one, snack. Two, three, four. And then a hidey hole. Yep. Where'd Trogdor go? Where'd he go? I can't see him. now, it doesn't matter if they sit here and plank at us for three. How many peasants do we have on the board? Two. We only need none. Yay! But they move and repair. Okay. Uh, no, they no, do they not. Don't. Peasants don't repair. So they just move west. Hey, how convenient. He comes <laughs> up, there's another snack. Here we snack. go, movement path of our knights. South. South. East. South. Yeah. We've it's also better, gotten really sorry. lucky with Trug Hammer not hitting. And I feel like I may have jinxed us. Yep. I feel like we've gotten really lucky with Trog Hammer so far. Uh, no, we haven't hit a tunnel, we hit a mountain. Move the mountain from the tunnel. He moves. He moves on. Okay. East. Very nice. East. South. East. Trog hammer. Invisibility! Ooh. Oh. Huh. Trogdor! I'm gonna hold on to that because that's during a Trogdor's actions. Trogdor can't take damage from the knights on this turn. It does not apply to knights' movement. But it's one of those if you were having to move through knights, you could. Um, I am going to do. Slantwise. Instead. Uh, chomp. That's one. Free action. Oh, I just realized I'm right, Trog. Two. Three. Four. Four. Five. Nice. Nice. So, we have the place burninated other than the cottages and the peasants. We are so close to winning. 
I can handle the cottages easy as long as I can stay near a corner. Fuck. Okay. They repair. We need two peasants. This one up there. They move. Mm-hmm. North. Okay. And repair. Oh. Oh yeah, they repair the ones they're standing on. They well, they yeah. repair where they stop. Uh, yeah. They're technically stopped here. Damn it. I got that covered. The knights mm-hmm. move west. West. South. West. That's a terrifying little square right How'd there. How'd they clump up again? Oh my gosh. They do that with the movement. Um. Hold on. Oh. You can VoIP. Oh, you got VoIP? I do have VoIP. Is there a point to VoIP? Well, he can wrap around. I get wrap around with the tennis ball thing. So if I hit a corner, I can just keep nuking from the corners because of constant wraparounds. Well, then I will uh, wait to VoIP on my next turn. Because it might be one of those I can VoIP and, like, in the game by VoIPing to a cottage and burning it. Yeah. So, your turn. Give him a card. Give him a good card, good sir. Uh, you got wrap around. Wrap around. Works. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can just go chomping if necessary. Yeah. Let's move Trogdor, Troghammer all the way to that far corner. Uh, no. He, he's no, a knight. Not, not this corner. Not that corner. Oh, not that Because I'm going to be using this corner. Okay, that corner. Just as far away as possible. Uh, I will use wraparound so, movement. Okay. To move, chomp, one, two, move, chomp. And if you burn that one. Burn. Five. I just need five action. And that's it. Let's pray to the gods. Dice gods on our side. We need 4,000 peasants. No, zero peasants. Yes! Yes. Ah. Sweet. But, here is our movement. You move west. Okay. You move west. Move that truck out. North. North. Mm. North. Mm. Damn. It's like he wanted to be. And it there. only uh, the knights only damage if you touch their tile, correct? Yep. <laughs> Mr. Brian, sir. Actually, you hit that corner tile on your way over, didn't you? Mm. No, he was started. He on chomped. It. Okay. Yeah, he had to burn this one first. Well, I, no, like did yeah. somebody ever touch that corner tile? Yeah, he touched so, it. Because yeah. I missed that. Oh, well, good. It untaps every yeah. time a corner tile gets touched. I question if it's on your turn or if it's on any turn. When Trogdor visits the corner store, any yep. tile, any corner tile. Doesn't say a specific Um. Aw. Nope. Unless your item says otherwise, it can only use once on your each of your turns and recharge only on your turn. Oh. So this is still tapped, though. Yeah. Oh, so Which is perfectly fine. Because so there's also the smell of daisies. But I'm going to be using wraparound. Can only be recharged on my turn and used only once. It can be used and then recharged only on your turn. So Okay. Like, so I can recharge it as many times yeah. on my turn. One check. Nuke the cottage. Okay. Actually, two for burn and eight. Three for burn and down. Three for burn and eight. Four, which untaps. 
five for burning it. Is that Actually, it? Actually, that's the free action as well. No peasants, all tiles, all buildings. It's over! Yeah! yeah! We winners. But I can move there and untap it. Mm. Then you can void them. Actually, I can't. Draw door! Because I never, I never actually burninated a cottage or cottage tile. So yeah. I used my void blood. So once. you, it's during your turn. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That dog tennis ball thing set with fireballs and wrap around is fucking stupid. It is. <laughs> it's burn any eligible tile or eligible cottage. That's actually good. It, this is actually a good game. So now that we've done that, that's the easy mode. There's a h normal mode and a hard mode. Oh, is it easy? Yeah. Uh, it's basically where the tiles are set. Um, uh, your your lake eventually becomes like hard mode. The lake's here. So to uh, burn the lake, you have to, like, get everything around it. And most of the cottages are in the center as well. Yeah. So you're Holy having to... Shit. Oh, yeah. I want to say one of the hardest modes is, like, a cottage here, lake here, cottage here, and cottage here. Which means you have to burn, like, a crap ton to burn the lake. And then you have to burn uh, try to burn the cottages. That's fucking ridiculous. I hope you guys enjoyed Trogdor. Do we plan on doing uh, another game, or are we done for the night? I got some shit I gotta do, so I think I'll be... Yeah, we've gotta go home, right? We've gotta be a wiener and go home, too. I gotta do Good. a bunch of labs tomorrow. Change the tire. I mean, it's not being a wiener, because it's the... It's... 9 o'clock, 9 10, so I mean, we're ending an hour earlier than we normally would, but we're also like playing a board game which isn't as interesting as uh, mm -hmm. D&D. I mean, it's still interesting, but it's just not. Not the same. We get it. Because there's a lot of role play and other shit going on on D&D. The D&Ds. Party, party. You have no special powers. Absolutely none. Oh, wow. Are these some of the ones? Yeah. Krangle oh, yes. On your turn, yes. game Spot one action. Tap and a couple of ones. Well, I want to thank everybody that's come in to watch tonight. Um. If you are watching at home via my YouTube channel, don't forget to hit the uh, like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you come over to Twitch, Shinigami Tavris, twitch.tv slash Shinigami Tavris, and uh, join us over here. Hit the uh, follow button. That lets you know when we go live. We do D&D &D most Thursday nights. On the Thursday nights, we're not doing D&D. &D. We're doing something like this, where we're playing some Trogdor or other board games. I also do variety streaming, a.k.a. I play video games of all sorts and types. I want to thank everybody for coming in. <laughs> Again, I'm Shinigami Tabris, also known as Boomer. I hope you have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you are. And until next time, everyone, peace! Other side says also the boy. <laughs> Out.